Hey guys, Shurum here, and today I'm going to be testing the Vision 1789 at Golden Max in the recent Tokens Rush multiplayer season, where you could use any new car from the New Breed Rivals season update. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure to check out my Furum Clips channel as well as my Purple Team Discord. You'll find the links to those down in the description, and I hope you enjoy these races. As in the season where I tested the Tushek not too long ago, the races in this season are very short, so I was able to fit 11 races into this eight and a half minute video for you to enjoy. I really do enjoy these fast paced races. This Tokens Rush season, uh, it wasn't unlimited, so you couldn't just play over and over again in the same car, but I still had a lot of fun this season. These are about half the races that I played in this car. I think I played around 20 races in each car, and I'll be making a video of each of the other cars in the season too, aside from the Tushek, because I already made a video about that one. So the Vision 1789 is very similar to the Turzo Millennio, just all around. It has slightly worse top speed and acceleration, but slightly better handling in Nitro, at least in terms of the stats. And overall, it feels like the Terzo. It even looks kind of like the Terzo with the really low and wide, kind of unorthodox look, you could say, almost. And here, I don't know what happened. The car just randomly, after I 360'd, I think stopped the 360 when the car was pointing sideways. I'm not entirely sure about that's almost what it looks like. Never really happened to me before. Kind of a weird one, but we come in first in this race just barely. All the races in this video were recorded in Elite League, so we had some good competition. We had other visions to go up against. We had some two checks and we had some of the Berlinetta too, which I also will be making a video about. Whenever I hear Berlinetta, I just think of the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta because that was the first car I saw with that name in a previous asphalt game, but Berlinetta just means a sports coupe with two seats apparently. I would say the Vision was probably the second best car in this season, with the first easily being the Tushek. Uh, this car isn't that much slower than the Tushek. The Vision goes 252 miles per hour, whereas the Tushek goes 255. But the Tushek does have quite a bit better acceleration, 86 versus 81 on this car, and better handling. However, the Vision does have better nitro efficiency. So I would probably pick that as this car's best stat, the nitro efficiency, even though it isn't anything super amazing, it's definitely above average at 72. Some of you guys may have noticed that I haven't been very active since my stream this past Saturday. That's because I'm currently studying for finals, and as of me recording this, and I guess as of when it comes out, because I'm recording it on the day it comes out, hopefully at least, otherwise it'll be more than five days since I've uploaded or streamed which I do not like to do. Fun fact, I've never actually gone more than four or five days without uploading a video since I started this channel seven years ago, which is kind of crazy to think about with everything that's happened in my life since then. I mean, that's the entirety of high school and the first three years of college for me. But anyway, in this past week, I have been studying for finals. Currently, I am done with three of the four. I've just got one to go tomorrow. So I wanted to take a break from studying almost nonstop the past few days and make this video for you guys. So the schedule may be a little bit different in the next few weeks. I'm still planning to do a Forza recording this Saturday, May 7th, and then do a stream on Saturday, May 14th. But on the 21st, um, I'm going to be moving for my internship. So I likely will not be doing any kind of Forza recording or anything on that day. The weekend after that, presumably I will stream again, considering how the setup and the schedule is at my internship. Um, and since it's a Saturday, I'm assuming I should be able to, if I'm able to get my setup and everything worked out, because I am taking my desktop with me there, because I didn't, don't want to leave that behind for 10 weeks. Just to give you guys a little update on how things are looking. So after a couple of back-to-back -back close races on Rome, we get a race on the Caribbean. Here, unfortunately, I spin twice and get knocked over to the side, and I go high on this barrel over to the right. And the reason why I did that was because I knew that if I went low on that barrel, I would most likely land on my top, because a lot of the barrels on the Caribbean, and especially with a wide car such as this one, uh, they tend to flip you on your top if you don't go high enough. So I figured it was better to go high over to the right, take the longer route, and not risk going on the inside, and even taking the really short route, like, you know, if you try to go through the cave, some cars can make that turn okay. If you're slower and you have a better drifting radius, you might be able to make it in there. In fast cars, I almost never do. It's almost always better to just go around the outside. You might lose a little bit of time, 
but you risk losing a lot of time or even wrecking if you try to go in the tunnel in a fast car such as this one and you don't get the entry just right. But that's just me, someone who likes to play it safe a lot of the time. We get a close win here against a couple of two checks and now we're moving on to a race on Cairo. So recently the Koenigsegg Regera special event ended, it came back for a second time like the Sheeran one did in pretty much the same format that it was before with just a few things changed. After playing through all of it, I was left with just two blueprints more that I needed in order to max the car, so I bought one of the 900 tokens 10 times pack so I'd be guaranteed to get it, then I six starred my Regera. And I, at that point, had already had four uh, epics applied to the car. I got 11 since then throughout the course of the event and through other cases. And then finally, after playing the very final day, the final stage of the Regera special event, I got the final epic that I needed to make 16. So I have exactly enough to be able to golden max my Regera. This was not something that I had expected to be able to do, mainly because I didn't know that I was going to be able to get that many epics for the car. But now that I should be able to, once I get enough credits, that is, because this is going to be several million. Because so far I have fully maxed out the acceleration and I've upgraded the nitro, but the final upgrades for top speed and handling are like two million apiece. So that's going to take a little while. But once I gold max the car, I'm planning to do a sequel to my old Sheeran versus Regera video at four stars in my new golden maxed ones. So it'll be kind of nostalgic, I suppose. Also, there's a Vision special event going on right now, but you can't actually unlock the car through the special event. I don't even really know if it gives any blueprints for the car, or if it does, they're very few. It's mainly an, an event to get other kinds of rewards, like tokens and so on. But you can buy blueprints for this car in the shop if you want to. There's packs, but they're 900 tokens for the 10 times, like for the Sharon and Regera. So I wouldn't really recommend it, as this car is not really worth 900 tokens per 10 times. Pack. Also, Club Clash has come out recently on Windows, at least for my Legions United Club. I don't know if it's available everywhere yet, uh, but I haven't really had a chance to play it yet. But when I do, I definitely want to make a video about it because I have been wanting some kind of way for clubs to really play against each other actively inside of Asphalt 9. Now, I know it's not really multiplayer like what we wanted, like what we've wanted for the longest time is having a way for members of different clubs to actively get into a multiplayer lobby together or a club race lobby together. Uh, maybe that'll be in the future, but for now, at least we have got this. Now it's time for a quick general review about this car. The 1789 is basically a Turzo clone, and as such, it's not really worth spending a lot of tokens on. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt, Forza, Minecraft, and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!